I do feel like I've hijacked this meeting and I do apologise, but I am going around the country, hence the reason for um, the, the film crew with me. I want to use this occasion now, for some of you that would know this, is to uh, make an announcement over some changes uh, in our, our leadership award at Sport New Zealand. Many of you would know Susie Simcock, who was an unbelievable um, icon uh, leader of, of sport in New Zealand. Um, she was the, um, the president of World Squash, um, and she was also on the NZOC board for about 12 years. Um, got their Olympic order, one of the highest awards you can ever get through the Olympic Committee. She tragically passed away um, very suddenly in May of this year. This year, um, we're making an announcement tonight, which is going to go to our sector, is that we're changing uh, and adding the name of our Future Leaders Scholarship to the Susie Simcock Future Leaders um, Scholarship. And so part of that is me going around the country is acknowledge the fact that in our um, deliberation this year in COVID-19, we can't have a sector conference uh, and we uh, unfortunately can't have a sector awards dinner. And so what we wanted to do is to walk around the country and acknowledge our finalists uh, in various categories. And what you've got here today is an Andrew is one of those finalists uh, in the now Susie Simcock Future Leaders Scholarship. Recognition, I think, Andrew, for you and the others that were finalists of just how bright and wonderful the future is for sport in New Zealand with the capable people like Andrew. Uh, your commitment, um, you know, your empathy for people, your leadership of transformational projects, um, your communication style and skills, your development of yourself, development of your staff and growing them, um, the, the re recognition not only of what you've done for council roles that you've had but also this, this organisation and also your volunteer work that you do both in the school board and in your uh, health um, agency that you're involved in uh, all culminates together in, in recognising you as a future leader. So we, we did want to acknowledge and say thank you for, for being a finalist. We're, we're going around the country uh, doing that and recognising those in front of their boards. So that's what um, my journey is today. The other thing is um, the other thing, Andrew, that I just want to mention as a little bit of a surprise to you, that I'm here to actually announce that you are this year's recipient of the Susie Simcock Future Leaders Award. Congratulations, well done, mate. Congratulations, Andrew Corkor, on your Future Leaders Scholarship. Your passion and work towards identifying opportunities for people in the Waikato region to be physically active is truly inspiring. It's no easy task leading teams through change and transformation, but you have continued to do so throughout your time at Sport Waikato. The time you volunteer towards young people and mental health initiatives is also recognised as a part of this award.